it's that time of year again with Christmas decorations going up, people are getting new gadgets and a lot of you are either starting your smart home journey or maybe helping someone else start theirs. Today marks day one of my 12 days of smart home Christmas series where I'll be sharing different smart home videos spread throughout December covering everything from automations, integrations, new devices and plenty more. To kick things off I wanted to start things right at the beginning with something that's perfect for anyone who's just getting into smart home tech this Christmas. Whether you've just installed Home Assistant or you've picked up your first smart device in the Black Friday sales, this is the video for you. Hey everyone, my name is Simon and welcome to a new video on Bite of Geek, a channel that's all about Home Assistant and smart home technology. So for day one, I'm putting together a smart home starter pack with a little focus on Christmas. This is all about giving you a genuine head start with your smart home. This isn't some huge shopping list and it's not a complicated setup either. It's just a simple, reliable set of devices and ideas that will help you build a solid foundation for the rest of your smart home. I've kept this list affordable, easy to set up and crucially expandable so you don't end up with things you regret buying later on and everything I mentioned today will be linked in the description of this video. Now when you're starting out with your smart home the choice can be absolutely overwhelming. There are lights, hubs, sensors, switches, plugs, automations, assistance, it's a lot to take in. However, these are the three devices I always recommend for beginners because they unlock so many automations, they work with Home Assistant and they're not going to break the bank either. So a smart plug is one of the cheapest and easiest upgrades you can make and it's perfect for Christmas, especially for turning on those Christmas tree lights or LED decorations or anything else that plugs in for that matter at this time of year. Having a smart plug gives you a lot of options. Scheduling, remote control, tracking energy usage and being able to automate things. Even if you don't buy anything else on this list, a smart plug alone gives you a lot. And if you get one with energy monitoring, you can set it up in the Home Assistant Energy Dashboard as well. This opens up a whole new view on things. And in the second video in this series, I have an interesting take on that. Next, and motion sensors are probably one of the must have things in a smart home. And if you ask anyone who's been doing this for a while, what's that one device that actually makes things feel smart? I bet a lot of us will probably say motion sensors. With motion sensors in place, you can use them to turn on lights when you walk into a room. You can use them to adjust the lighting at night, send you alert notifications when someone is detected and monitor activity in a room to help you save energy and money. At this time of year, they're great for things like turning on the tree lights when someone walks into the living room, lighting the hallway on a dark winter morning, or dimming lights when everyone's gone to bed. I personally use Zigbee sensors, but there are thread options as well, and both are great for speed and reliability. But if you're just starting out, then Wi-Fi ones are absolutely fine as well. Next, we've got lighting, and nothing says you've got onto the uh, rung of the smart home ladder more than a smart light bulb or light strip. A single color bulb or a light strip is perfect for beginners because it gives you that instant visual feedback. You can create scenes, change colors, adjust the brightness, or even create festive themes if you want to. And it ties perfectly in with the motion sensor I've just been talking about. With a motion sensor turning on the light and a timer turning it off again, suddenly you've got your very first automation. There are many different brands in this category, all using different network protocols. Some will use cloud services, whilst others will run locally. They might use obscure apps as well, meaning you'll have so many different ways of controlling your devices, and therefore it can be a bit of a minefield. 
Now, one of the biggest mistakes that people make, especially around Christmas, is buying random devices that don't talk to each other or certainly make it far more difficult than it should be. So here's the safest way to build your smart home without breaking the bank. I would say pick one ecosystem to start with. Uh, it's not going to lock you in forever, but it does help keep things simple. And I'd suggest something like Zigbee or Thread and Matter if you want something a bit more modern. Wi-Fi is perfectly fine, uh, but you may find that as you expand your smart home, you'll quickly start to fill your network and bog down your router, especially if you're using the cheap one that your ISP gave you. Start with just a handful of devices. Don't rush out and buy 20 different sensors and scatter them everywhere. Start with a small setup, maybe three to five different devices, something like a smart plug, some uh, smart bulbs, a couple of motion sensors, and if you're feeling really adventurous, then maybe even a temperature sensor. That combination alone gives you a ton of flexibility. Use a local smart home system like Home Assistant. It gives you true local control, reliability, privacy, and with no cloud dependency, everything is in one place. Remember, you don't need to configure everything on day one. You can add more to your smart home as you go, but starting with local control sets you up long term. Build your smart home room by room, not device by device. And this is something I wish I'd focus more on when I started. Instead of buying a load of random devices, pick a single room and make that room smart. Live with it for a week, get feedback from others in your house, what works, what annoys them, then move on to the next room. This keeps things easy, affordable and organised and lets you learn from your mistakes going forward. So to round off this starter pack, I want to give you a simple practical automation you can set up straight away, even if today is your first day with Home Assistant. And this is the kind of thing that makes your smart home feel useful. You can use this in the hallway, living room, or even the bathroom if you want. And for Christmas, it can turn on your Christmas tree automatically when someone walks into the room. It's a small thing, but people love it. Okay, so to set up this automation, I go into my settings and then automations and click on the create new automation. So I'm gonna add a trigger and that is gonna be my motion sensor. So in this room, um, I have a uh, office motion sensor. So we're going to select that. And the, um, the trigger on that is going to be when it detects motion. Then I'm going to add uh, an and if, and that's going to be a time. So that's going to be the sun. And I'm going to say when it's after sunset. And then what I want it to do is I want it to um, turn on the light. So I'm going to choose uh, a light action and turn on for the office. And uh, if I had a Christmas tree in this room, then I would add that uh, smart plug as well. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that. So I've got a spare smart plug. So um, turn that on and then uh, I'm going to wait 60 seconds so I'm going to add a wait uh, action and put in 60 seconds for that and then I'm going to uh, basically do the reverse of this so I'm going to now pick my smart plug and I'm going to turn it off and then I'm going to pick my light so I'm going to uh, choose the um, light turn off action and again, pick the office lights. And um, that is it. So basically, when the room's been occupied and it's after sunset, then turn on the lights, turn on the smart plug, wait for 60 seconds, turn off the plug and turn off the lights. And then we just give that a name and save that automation. So that's the Smart Home Starter Pack. Three devices to get you up and running with a safe way to grow your setup and a first automation you can build today. Remember, this is just at the beginning. I've got some brilliant videos lined up across the rest of December as part of the 12 Days of Smart Home Christmas series. Next up, I'll be taking a look at a really interesting hacks integration I've come across for improving your home assistant energy monitoring. So keep an eye out for that one. 
If you found this video helpful, then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really does help support the channel and hit the notification bell as well so that you don't miss the next video in this series. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.